believe it or not, the PlayStation 2 has a flaw. Don't let this iconic, timeless design fool you because behind this facade is potentially a ticking time bomb. Within the PS2's DVD drive is a problem that can render the stock console unplayable. This flaw, while lethal to the system as a whole, thankfully has a solution. And it's this. This tiny little circuit is called the PickFix, and it alone can provide the protection your PS2 needs to live a long and fruitful life. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Tito, and welcome to another episode of Retro Renew. Today I'll be showing you a mod that protects your PS2 from catastrophic failure. More specifically, it protects the console's laser. Now as a bit of background, this problem concerns a handful of PS2 revisions. Those are the V9 through V12 variations of the console. These are primarily SCPH 50,000 model PS2s, as well as the thinner SCPH 70,000 model. So what exactly is this problem that can effectively kill your PS2? Well, for the previously mentioned console revisions, if you put in a disc that has a scratch on it, or is a burned backup of a game, for the case of a modded console, this has the potential to crash the console's Mechacon. Mechacon is short for Mechanics Controller. This is a specialized chip that controls the optical drive mechanism, as well as provides game disc security. When you put in a bad disc in the console and the Mechacon crashes, this will cause the laser to burn itself out, essentially making the console useless, especially if you primarily play physical games on it. And that's where the pick fix comes in. This was originally designed for V12 models, however it was discovered that the same mod can work on V9 revisions as well. The V9 requires a 2200 ohm resistor on the PicFix board instead of the 1500 ohm that's on there for the V10 and V12 models. Anyway, what this mod does is it will detect if the Mechacon crashes and will force the console into standby mode to prevent any damage to the laser from ever occurring. This is a simple, elegant, and inexpensive way to preserve the console's laser. Now I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to Mosville USA who kindly sent over the pick fix for me to try out. He'll have these available at his store for five bucks each. Not a bad price in my opinion for peace of mind. Definitely check out his Twitter as well as his YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of his work and mods. Now, like I said previously, the pick fix was originally developed for V12 systems. It was actually made by the same folks who created the Matrix Infinity mod chips. However, further research on the mod was done by Halo Slayer 225 from the Obscure Gamers Forum to expand the compatibility of the PicFix to V9 consoles by changing the resistor value on the chip to 2200 ohms. Now, I will be demonstrating the install on a V9 system, but Modsville has made some really nice diagrams which go over all the solder points for the V10 and V12 variants as well. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you all the things you need to do the PicFix mod. Then I'll demonstrate how to install it into the console, go over all of its features, review the pros and cons, and of course provide you with my overall thoughts. So in order to do this mod, you just need this tiny pick fix board and four strands of wire. That's it. It's a pretty simple mod that only requires you to solder to four points on the motherboard. So without any further ado, let me show you how to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and start off by breaking this PS2 down all the way to its motherboard. Nice. For a detailed teardown tutorial of the PS2, check out the video that I have linked in the video description. Great, so for this install, I've decided to place the pick fix in this general location. Let's grab the pick fix and place a piece of double-sided VHB tape on the back. Then, firmly stick it to the PS2's motherboard. I'll go ahead and tin up all four pads on the board before we start installing the wires. The first connection I want to make is to ground. Using a generous amount of heat, I made a solder blob here on the ground plane adjacent to the pick fix. I then connected the ground point to the blob. 
I'm using 26 gauge wire for this and 30 gauge for the rest. 30 gauge would have actually been fine for this ground point as well. Anyway, now locate the voltage regulator and make absolutely certain you are soldering to the correct leg. I made the mistake of soldering to the wrong leg in a previous installation and ended up damaging my console. Once connected, go ahead and solder the other end of the wire to the 5 volt input pad. Now locate this tiny resistor and tin this side shown here. You need to be very careful when soldering to tiny components like this because extended dwell time on these components can risk their removal. Now go ahead and solder the wire. And this is what it should look like when you're done. Now let's go ahead and solder the other end of the wire to the pad labeled K on the PickFix board. And the last point we need to solder to is here near the BIOS chip. Tin it up and solder a wire to it. I actually routed the wire underneath the pins of this chip to keep things nice and tidy. And lastly, solder the other end to the pad labeled J. Great, the PickFix has been fully installed. And here you can see all the various connections that were made relative to the PickFix chip. The last thing to do before reassembly is to insulate the board using some Kapton tape. The last thing we want is the board shorting out and damaging something on the console. And then, finally, put it back together. So once the mod is done, there really isn't anything to show for it. The pick fix is inside the console protecting the DVD laser. Typically in this segment of the video, I discuss the features of the mod, but its primary feature isn't visually observable. However, that being said, should you toss in a disc that the PS2 doesn't like and the Mechacon crashes, it'll simply put the system into standby mode and that's it. Think of it as the guardian angel of your PS2's optical drive. So with that thought, let's go ahead and skip to the pros and cons. Starting with the pros, I think the biggest one is the peace of mind you get knowing that your laser is protected in the catastrophic event you put a bad disc into your PS2. This reason alone, in my opinion, makes this mod totally worth the trouble of installation. Additionally, if you have experience soldering, I would consider this a relatively simple mod. Just be careful when soldering to the tiny resistor and make sure you are soldering to all the correct points on the motherboard and you should be good to go. And the last and most obvious pro is that you're protecting the console's laser from failure and prolonging its life. Now, the laser will eventually die, that's inevitable, but this mod will prevent it from happening prematurely. All right, so those are the pros, but now let's get into the cons. And honestly, I don't think there are any. The only one that I could think of is that this may not be the most accessible mod to those who don't have much experience soldering. Additionally, for those that do attempt this mod, you have to be very careful when installing it. You need to check, double check, and triple check your connections. If you watched my Mars Pro mod chip video for the PS2, which I did a couple weeks ago, link in the description, you'll remember that I killed my PS2's DVD drive and had to mod chip another PS2. That was because I was supposed to install the pick fix in that same video, but I messed up the installation. When connecting the wires for the pick fix in that video, I accidentally soldered to the wrong leg of the power regulator, which most likely fried a component or blew a fuse on the motherboard. So lesson learned, one has to be extremely mindful and absolutely certain you are soldering to the correct points when installing the pick fix mod. So there you have it, the pick fix mod for the PlayStation 2. What do you all think? Do any of you have a V9? V10 or V12 model PS2? And if so, will you be installing the PickFix mod? And more importantly, has anyone had any horror stories of their PS2 laser burning out due to this Mechacon flaw? Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next Thursday. This has the potential to crash the console's Mechacon. Mechacon. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a run on that is a run on sentence. Okay, here let's try that one more time.